welcome to my YouTube channel and of course my first ever YouTube video and I bet you're wondering why is Ermin wearing a scarf indoors and in the kitchen well as you know we are in lockdown and so I don't get to go out much and so I can't put my winter scarves on and this is my first ever scarf that I've knitted yes my pride my jaw and so I thought why not put it on why not why not yeah why not so yes I've got my scarf on I hope you like it anyway let's talk about why I'm here so you obviously know me as a baker on the Great British Bake Off but I am also a home cook and so on this channel I would like to share with you not only the sweet recipes but also the savory ones and we are in winter and what best than comfort food so I've chosen today to share a recipe on a mild curry butternut squash so I've made it mild because I have to accommodate Stephen he doesn't eat hot food but you can substitute the mild curry powder with some medium or extra hot um, powder it is uh, totally Got here some vegetable stock, a bit of curry powder, some onion, um, some parsley, some squash, some creme fraiche, uh, butter, thyme, bay leaf, garlic, and ginger. So let's get mixing. So I'm putting first all my um, herbs and butter my uh, onions my shallots they're not actually onion they're shallots and the reason why I went for shallot instead of onion is that shallot has a much more subtle and sweeter profile compared to onion so it works well in a soup but I mean feel free to substitute the shallot with uh, some onion and uh, in my opinion once you've cooked the onion with the butter and all the herbs it will sort of uh, melt down In the meantime, I'm bringing my squash to boil with about half a litre of water. Now to this, I'm adding my curry powder, I'm adding my salt, I'm adding my uh, parsley leaves. And last but not least, I'm adding my um, vegetables stock. Now, I've got everything in and I'm going to try and bring it together by mixing in the boiled butternut uh, squash. And now I'm going to add some of the boiled water from the Butternut squash. I have decided to add about a tablespoon of honey to balance out the flavours. 
I've learned cooking without recipe books, so I've started relatively young watching uh, my mum cook and it was always adding a little bit of this, a little bit of that and then giving it a taste and see you know what is missing, what have we got too much of and then how to balance um, them out and uh, so you know I've just added honey it was never intended at the beginning of the recipe so you can't see it in my uh, ingredients uh, on the bench but when I tried it I felt it was missing something and so yes I added some honey I'm adding my double cream sorry I meant uh, creme fraiche not double cream that wasn't double cream in the pan there it was Crème fraîche. If you happen to be a vegetarian or on a dairy free diet, you can substitute the crème fraîche with some coconut cream. Uh, it's super simple to make. I will share a video eventually on how to do that. I make my own coconut cream, uh, coconut milk. Uh, so yeah, you can uh, um, swap the coconut, um, the creme fraiche with some coconut cream and uh, it works just as well. And of course for the presentation, presentation is very important. You can swirl some uh, double cream, liquid double cream um, on your soup, sprinkle a bit of uh, pomegranate and some herbs. You again can substitute the double cream with some coconut milk. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, do not give me the thumb down. Just don't bother. Don't bother. Right. Okay. So if you would like to be notified on whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell below. And also leave me a comment on whether you would like me to try something special, something new, and I'll see what we can do. In the meantime, take care.